Hi, me again. Um, so it's been a while since I've posted on my vlog and I'm really sorry for that. But what I thought I'd do is another haul because I've been shopping again recently. So I thought that would kind of catch you up on what I've been up to, what I've been buying, what I shouldn't have been buying. Um, and yeah, I'm going to try it. It's a lot quicker than the last one as well because I had to split it into two if you didn't see it already because it was so long. So I'm going to try to not rush but not ramble too much. So without further ado, here is my haul. Okay, so I've been shopping at Primark quite a lot lately, um, just because I had a voucher, so I kind of went crazy. Um, so the first thing I bought was these sort of metallic-y tattoos. I keep seeing them on different people, and I really like them, and I thought that they'd be really cute for summer. So I picked those up, they're £1.50, and they're really pretty. They come in gold, although I don't know if you can see very well in this light. There we go. Uh, and there's lots of really nice patterns. So yeah, that's the first thing I bought, which I thought was quite nice. Um, another thing I got from Primark recently, it's not that exciting, but I was pretty pleased. <laughs> These one kilo hand weights. If you follow me on Twitter at all, then you'd have seen the other day I posted a question up because the trouble with Primark is you can't look online or shop online. So if you're going to make the journey into a nearest store, it's a bit disappointing if you get there and they haven't got whatever it was you were looking for, whatever it was you were hoping for. Um, so I posted asking, do you have hand weights? No one replied. So I kind of went down on a whim anyway, and just by chance, I found these. Uh, I got two, they were two pounds each, they are one kilogram. I'm assuming you hold them like this. Um, they're heavier than you'd expect as well, but they do the job, so that was quite nice, and didn't have to fork out too much for hand weights. So that's nice. Oh no, I just broke a nail! I spent hours and hours, or well not hours actually, it's from days and weeks growing my nails and just ripped one of them. That was nice. Um, the next thing I got from Primark, or the next things, were these, I don't know, initialed wash bags. So this one that has is quite small, um, comes with two zips or two compartments. I'll open one up but I've put all my junk in there already. Um, it's just two, I thought that was quite handy because I'm always like looking back home popping on holiday so I thought that would be really useful for if I'm travelling around from this, you know, just small journeys and I've just always got my makeup and my toothbrush loose in my handbag and then it gets all like the bits from the bottom of your bag stuck on it. So I thought that was quite a handy thing to have. And I also got the larger version as well, um, which has got little this is there. I just thought it'd be quite handy for holiday. Again, I've already got all my crap in it. Excuse me French. So that's the end. That's the inside. And I have kept the cardboard in it just because I think it's nice and keeps the shape. But you know, I imagine most people don't. But that's the inside. Oh, my little, I was just saying monogrammed, but I don't think that's the right word. But my little monogrammed uh, makeup bags that I bought recently. Also from Primer. I'm going to unleash my inner nerd. I've got this. I'm not one of those people who can recite to you every single line of every single book and tell you about all the characters. I just love Harry Potter films. I really like them, they make me happy when I'm feeling naff. I did the, what's the word, the Sorting House quiz on that Pottermore website. I'm Hufflepuff, which I was a bit gutted about, but whatever. Anyway, I saw this in Primark, it was only £4. I needed a new iPad case. So, I got it as a little treat for myself. Quite nice. If you're into Harry Potter, then you'll be pretty excited about this. If you're not, you'll be like, why have you shown me? You win some, you lose some. Also from Primark, I recently bought this little clutch. I don't know if you can see it very well. That's probably better. Uh, I bought this little clutch. So it's got obviously the lemon design on the front, and if you saw my recent blog post, I was but sort of on the hunt for new handbags, especially like fruit or food themed ones, I thought they were quite cute for summer. As I said before, Primark don't have an online website, so I, when I was looking around, I didn't come across a bunch of them. But they've got, so they've got this one in store, I think they've got another one with another piece of citrus fruit on it, and then they've also got sort of sequin style clutches, which is sort of monochromatic? 
monochromatic on the background and then have sequin lemons and oranges and all that kind of thing and flowers on the front which are really pretty but I bought this one got a little zip here um, and then a, a bigger zip I haven't taken the paper out sorry um, a bigger zip in there and a little one in the inside I quite like it just thought it's quite nice to you know when you're on holiday <laughs> when you're on a holiday um, and it's big enough that you can fit like I always carry around notebooks and diaries and things like that so it's big enough that you can fit that in it as well which is a plus for me so yeah um I'm going to have to stand up for this. I also got from Primark just a pair of, oh, basic black high-waisted jeans. I don't know if you can see very well. Um, downside is they don't come with belt hooks, so I think these cost me £10. And they're great because I just needed a new pair of black high-waisted skinny jeans, and I just don't have the money to fork out on expensive ones. So I got picked up a pair of those. They're pretty comfy, I guess. Uh, I'm worried about them going baggy, but then I suppose if they only cost 10 quid, it's not the end of the world if they go baggy after a couple of months or whatever. It's not like you've just bought a pair of £60 jeans and they've gone baggy, because that is not good. Um, so I just got picked up a pair of those. They're not that interesting, so I won't show you too much of them. Um, and then I think the last thing that I got from Primark recently was this. Face scrubberer. Um, if I remember correctly, this cost me a pound which I'm pretty pleased about. So the front of it looks like that. It's got like a little brush feature. Can you see? It's quite difficult to see in this light. That's probably better. And then the back looks like that. I bought it just for a bit of fun and I keep seeing like all these brawn and these other kind of swanky face scrubbers and epilators and I really want one I just never have 70 pounds lying around where I can you know I can order one I've been desperate for one for ages so I thought well just to kind of satisfy me until I until I have got the money to buy myself one I'll just get this and I'm, so far I tried it a couple of times I quite like it um just be careful on this side because it's a bit rough if you like buff too hard so the first time I used it my face went quite red but I will give you more details about that I'm going to do a review on this like a proper review over on my blog at some point so if you have time definitely you stick around and check it out but yeah I was quite pleased especially because it only cost me a pound so that was a nice nice surprise moving on from Primark so I've also been to TK Maxx and Home since I got a voucher when I moved into this abode here um, it's like a housewoman gift and I went the other day I bought myself some like some just cups and you know cutlery for the house. I won't bother showing you those because everyone's what cutlery looks like. But I also got myself this notebook. You've already seen it on my Instagram if you follow me, but it's Jane Austen quote on the front. It's kind of got this like gold. I don't know what to call that goldness, goldness down the side. Print pattern on the first pages, and then lined in the middle. There are a few different ones that come with different quotes, different colours. I just got this because I thought it was quite cute. Um, I'm using it for like blogging notes and just general, general wanderings, I guess we'll call them. So, got myself that. Um, I also recently bought, and I'll show you this, I have to hold this up, bear with me, it's inside out. So I was going on a night out for my friend's birthday the other week, and I just thought I don't have anything to wear for a nice night out, so I'm going to need a dress. I don't have a lot of money to spend on it, so I bought, oops. Oh, you can't really see it very well. I bought myself this dress. So, once it's on, it's kind of got that sort of 90s neckline. Um, ooh. Comes out obviously like that, but both sides. It's hard to show you when you're stand, like, you know, if you're not wearing it. And then it's crossed at the back, as so many of my clothes are these days. Um, which is quite pretty. Um, I think I got this, well, I got this from Topshop. Um, in like the basement of the big top shop in Oxford Circus. I think it cost me £25, which isn't bad. Um, it's made of like a sort of stretchy, lycra-y fabric, which is good because I'm not too worried about spilling stuff down it because I know it will come out. It stretches, so you know, you can give you more of like a defined outline or silhouette, I suppose we'll call it. And um, only downside is that if you eat too much, you might want to wear Spanx because it will show a lot. 
Um, other than that, I really liked it. I, if you haven't seen already, I, I think there's pictures up on my Instagram of me wearing it, but if not, I'll put some up on the blog or the Instagram or whatever, so you can kind of get a full idea. But I really like this, especially because it's so cheap. Um, I'm running out of time. Okay, I've also bought, because I'm going away in summer, I bought myself a bikini, because everyone needs swimsuits. I got one in like this sort of pale powder blue colour from H&M. Um, so the top's like a little twisty bandeau business, and then the bottom's just inside out, as usual. Um, I just like that. So we string it this side, and then same powdery blue colour. I just thought the colour was quite pretty. I don't really like wearing like red or two bright colours. Um, I just thought it was a nice change. I thought it was really pretty. Might look nice on my skin. Will still look nice if I get a tan. So that was a definite bonus. I think the tops was twelve ninety nine. The bottoms were nine ninety nine. Oh no, seven ninety nine. So that was Ace. Also from H and M, I purchased also Inside Out because I've worn it now. I can still show you Inside Out to be honest. Um, so this rather delightful orange oversized jumper. So it's got a really big, this is my size but it just comes you know very oversized. I just thought it's quite nice for summer because you know if it is a rainy day or it's cold like one of those cooler days you can get away with wearing it, it's still quite bright colour but also if you want to wear it in the autumn or the winter you can, it's still you know toasty enough. So that was quite a good find and it was in the sale as well so I think it was down from about £40 to around 20 which was good by me. Oh the one I forget, I also got this ring recently from Accessorise, um, which I'm pretty chuffed with. It was £12 down to £6. I thought it was really pretty, I'm quite delicate for summer, and I'm not a particularly delicate person, but you know, you win some, you lose some. Um, also on my nails, I don't know if you can see very well, today I have got this new Essie nail polish. I really like Essie, colours always come out quite well, and this is in the colour Not Just a Pretty Face, which of course sums me up so well. Kidding. Um, great, don't know why I bothered doing that. Um, but yeah, I really like this colour, it doesn't wash my skin out and it's just like a nice sort of nude for my skin tone um, with like a hint of peach, so. I need to stop thumbs upping, I'm really sorry. Sorry guys. Um, also, I bought this top which I really like from, well, from Glamorous but I bought it in, again in the basement of Topshop. It's got this nice v-neck at the front, it's very kind of sheer, um, thin straps, and the back, which I think is a really pretty detail, is pleated. I really like this top. Only downside is because it's so see-through, you obviously have to wear like a nude cami or like some sort of top underneath it to be able to get away with it, because if not it's just too rusty, 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 it's just not appropriate. Um, so, but other than that, you know, it's really nice, and I guess if you were going to go on holiday you could wear it with like a swimsuit underneath maybe, and it would be okay. So I bought that. I promise you I'm nearly there. Um, I also bought from Urban Outfitters in the sale, because I love the sale, this top. So it's also got that kind of 90s neckline. Um, and then at the back it's open, um, which is really pretty detail as well. So, yes. I really like this. I think this is down from like £40 to £9. And I can never afford Urban Outfitters when it's full price because it's just so expensive. But this has been really pretty. It's just that nice open back detail is great for the summer. Um, and it can just be warm with black jeans, white jeans. It's just kind of an all-rounder, I guess we'll call it. Two things left. So, the second to last item, which I haven't worn, but it also seems to be inside out, mysteriously. Uh, I'm saving this for my summer holidays, but I got this really, really, really pretty play suit. So it's got like a lacy detail there and just really floaty. And I just thought this would be so lovely for some holidays, just like a pair of flip flops, or if you're going out for tea or dinner or whatever you call it, then a pair of little heels, um, or even just throw over a swimsuit. But it's really pretty. I keep seeing things like this on Pinterest. And finally, HM bought one out. I only bought it recently and I bought it full price, so I'm hoping, if you're lucky, that you'll still be able to find it. But as ever, I will try and put all the links to what I can over on my blog. So I love that, I'm so pleased I found that, I'm so excited to wear it this summer. 
And then the last thing on my list. gold so if you can see it so I got these well they were in the Topshop sale they were down from £82 to £20 but they'd sold that in my size I found a brand new pair on eBay which I bought in my size they arrived brand new inbox mint condition all that but they were so unbelievably tight and normally I can go down the size in Topshop but even my actual size in Topshop was unbelievably tight that my feet went numb so I ended up just taking them back to the store, saying I'm really sorry. Bought these, I want to exchange them. They're still in the inbox, so I exchanged them for the size up. And it was like the last size in the store, so I'm so lucky I got these. Chances are they're not going to have any more of these at the moment. But I know that they come in like plain black, because this is the snakeskin kind of version. Um, but I know they come in plain black at the moment, however they are still full price. And if you are going to get them, definitely get them the size up. Because if they're, you know, they're just awkward sh shape. And I've seen a couple of people on, on the internet have been having the same kind of issue so but I thought they'd be really nice for you know autumn or later on in the year even now if it's raining with a pair of jeans a pair of you know loose fitting trout you know I mean like a dress it's just in my head I can think of so many outfits that this goes with so I'm pretty chuffed that I got these yes I have one that side which is why they look a bit grim on the bottom and I also think this gold bit is a lovely detail so, oh, another thumbs up, what do you know? Anyway, that's everything I bought. I hope I didn't bore you too much and um, I'll put the link to my blog below which will have all of the details that I can find and I will hopefully try and put up like a lookbook for you shortly as well. Thanks for watching, bye.